Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to make some homemade ricotta. It's great in lots of dishes. It's super easy to make. And the best part is it only requires three ingredients. And today I've decided to use the yogurt setting on an Instapot to heat the milk. Of course, you can use a stove top. It'll probably be faster and just use the same ingredients. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's add the milk. It should take about 20 minutes on the yogurt setting in the Instapot. It's faster on the stove top, but I just wanted to experiment today and I'm feeling a bit lazy. Press the yogurt button until you see the boil sign. Add the salt first so it has a chance to dissolve into the milk. Then add your white vinegar and give it a stir. Watch the curds start to form. Grab a bowl, strainer, and your muslin cloth or cheesecloth and get ready to strain the mix. I'm going to let it strain for a bit as well as cool down, otherwise it's going to be really hard to squeeze. Alright, let's give it a squeeze. Gather all the ends together, try and keep all the cheese in, and give it a squeeze. I like to squeeze as much of the whey out as possible. I like my ricotta kind of dry. Look at all that great cheese. It's now ready for a container. Try and scrape up as much as you can.
homemade ricotta should keep in your fridge for three or four days. In my fridge, about a day. This batch is heading for a homemade lasagna. And there you go, you've just made all natural homemade ricotta cheese. Enjoy!